Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Odin's Eye Holiday Collection. They're coming out with two brand new holiday palettes this year and I cannot wait to swatch these palettes for you to create some looks with them and tell you my thoughts on this new collection. But not only that, okay? Odin's Eye is also bringing back last year's holiday collection which was a smash hit. Last year's holiday collection sold out in I believe a, a couple of weeks if not one <laughs> and they couldn't bring the palettes back in time for the holiday so they decided to re-release last year's palettes this year I do have a video on these palettes already on my channel which I'll go ahead and link right there on the eye and I'll also leave you the link to that video down below in the description box if you want to see the swatches of every single one of these shades and see the looks that I created with them. Spoiler alert, I absolutely loved last year's palette. It was a shame that they sold out so fast because I remember seeing a bunch of comments from you guys that you waited too long and you couldn't get your hands on it. Well, good news they are back i will show you some of my favorite shades that are in these palettes in today's video but if you want to see the entire review with every single shade swatched and a couple of looks definitely check out last year's video because in today's video i of course want to focus on the snow dream palette and the Hey Reindeer palette, which are the new ones. I do have an Odin's Eye discount code that will apply to this collection. The code is PATTY10. So if you wanna get your hands on any of the Odin's Eye holiday palettes, definitely use my code PATTY10 to save some money. So let me go ahead and start by showing you the outside of the Snow Dream palette. As you can see, it has an extremely festive, very Christmassy packaging, which I absolutely love. I'm honestly, for the most part, always impressed by the design on the outside of Odin's Eye palette. I really, really love the way this looks. It's so festive. And then once you open the palette, Take a look right here at the beautiful color story. This year they went with color stories that are a lot softer than last year's palettes. Last year's palettes were very out there and very colorful and very dramatic. And this year's palettes are a little bit more of a soft glam type of holiday palette, which you guys know I love soft glam looks, so I absolutely love these. But then I also really love last year's palettes as well. We'll see by the end of this video, but so far I don't know what to even suggest for you to pick. Once I play with these, I'll let you know. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, they went with a much softer color story for the Snow Dream palette. I do love the soft sage colors they chose to put in here. The pop of green down here, that pop of purple looks incredible. And um, for the looks of it, some of these shimmer shades are pretty shifty. So let's go ahead and go for the swatches. Actually, I changed my mind before I show you the swatches. Let me show you the Hey Reindeer palette and its color story and then we'll swatch both. Take a look right here at the outside of the Hey Reindeer palette. As you can see, it is extremely, extremely festive just like the Snow Dream palette. I absolutely love the exterior. And once you open it, I do think I might like this one even more than Snow Dream based on just taking a look at them. But as you can see, very beautiful combination of mattes versus shimmer shades. And also, especially in comparison to last year's palettes, a much softer color story. These colors are overall a lot lighter than the colors from the palette last year. But I really think that you can get some very beautiful soft glam looks with this year's holiday palette. So it'll just depend on whether you like dramatic colorful looks or more of a soft glam type of effect to your holiday eye look. Let me show you all four palettes side by side. I have these palettes from last year and as you can see mine look really nice and used but I'm going to show you the new ones they sent me just for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> so here are the Christmas Eve palette and the Merry Christmas palette from last year versus the Snow Dream palette and the Hey Reindeer palette from this year. So as you can see and as I was telling you earlier, you can clearly see 
that last year's palettes are super festive just like this year's palette and they have more colorful vibrant shades versus these year's palettes are a lot softer in nature so depending on what your makeup style is i'm sure you will choose accordingly let's go ahead and go for the swatches of this year's palettes <laughs> I'm starting with the Snow Dream palette. The first shade is Boots, which is a creamy warm matte. Then we have Celebrate, which is this stunning metallic, super reflective purple. And the shade Feast, which is a mid-tone brown matte color. Let me add some more to this one. Hugs next, which is a beautiful light gold color. That one is very ethereal and reflective. The next color you can see on my finger there has multicolor sparkles. It looks crazy beautiful. And it's called Frankincense. This is an incredibly beautiful glitter color. Look at how much is left on my finger even after I swatched that. <laughs> Goodwill is like an off-white type shade. Maybe with a hint of pink in it. Mary is a light green shimmer shade. And then we have the color Ornament, which is an olive green shade. Light olive, I should say. Snowflake is a pastel green matte color. Sweater is this incredible, very pigmented gold. And Guest is a matte pigmented red shade. Next color is Tradition, which is like a reddish copper shimmer. Magic is almost like a bronzy pewter if that makes any sense at all. And then the next color is Got Jewel, I think that's what that says, and it's like a warm brown shade. The last two shades in this palette are Tinsel, which is this incredible green, and Garland, which is a warm matte color. So finally, take a look right here at the entire Snow Dream palette swatched. As you can see, a lot of the shades are very nice and soft, but it does, of course, have some beautiful pops of color and I cannot wait to see what looks I can create with this palette. I'm super excited about it. I'm not going to take the swatches off of here quite yet so we can compare both palettes swatched side by side. So with that said, let's move on to swatching the Hey Reindeer palette. The first shade Reindeer is a stunning mauvey pink matte. Let me build it up a little bit. There we go. And then we have this beautiful light gold color called Slay. Woo! Stunning. Look at how reflective that color is. I'm obsessed. Greetings is the most beautiful mauvey pink mid-tone shade, which is, as you can see, matte. And then we have Eggnog, which is like a true yellow gold color, also very reflective. Christmas Ham, which, by the way, I love the name, <laughs> is a white, very reflective glitter shade with a hint of pink or pink duochrome, very, very beautiful. And the next shade is Cider, which is the lightest matte blue color in existence. Okay, take a look right there. On the back of my hand, it looks white, but on the pan, it's like a very light blue. Next, we have Wrath, which is the most stunning lavender shimmer color, and the color Holly, which is this very light matte it's like in between purple and blue, I think. Very beautiful cool tone matte. Row number three and the first color is Mistletoe, which is this matte reddish shade. Not quite the same red as in the other palette. It's more terracotta red, I would say, but they look kind of similar. And then this next shade I'm super excited to swatch because it is the most stunning multi-chrome peach shade and it is called candy canes oh the camera is not doing it justice right now but i have a clip of some swatches that i took downstairs so i'll show you that in a second um, for now take the boring version of the color candy canes which is so much better than it looks on camera right now as i said I'm going to show you in a different light in a second. Moving on to Ivy, which is a light matte blue and the shade Christmas Stocking, which is the most stunning gold color. I don't even know how to describe what type of gold this is. It just looks beautiful. <laughs> on the last row, we have the shade Bells, which is the most beautiful pewter 
Then we have Fireplace, which is this fire orange color. And the last two colors are Presence, which I'm obsessed with this blue. And the color Snow Wish, which is a dark brown matte. All right, so take a look right here at every single shade from the Hey Reindeer palette Swashed. I love the soft cool tone matte. I feel like they'll look even better once we start putting them on the eyes. And I'm obsessed with a lot of the glittery shimmer shades that this palette has in it as well. And then take a look right here at both of the new palettes swashed side by side. I don't know if this maybe can help you find the color story that you prefer. I feel like when I look at the color stories in the palettes right here, I prefer this one. But when I'm looking at the swatches side by side, I think I actually prefer the Snow Dream palette swatches. I don't know, I'm very confused right now. I guess we need to break that tie by putting these palettes on my eyeballs. Now I told you I wanted to show you the shimmers swatched in a different lighting where you can see the shifts a bit better. So take a look right here at what the Snow Dream palette looks like on a different light. I only swatched the shimmer shades of the Snow Dream palette. I did this for some short form content but I wanted to put this clip in this video because I wanted you to see the shimmer shades from both palettes under a different light where you can see the shifts in the shimmer shades a little bit more. So here are the swatches of the shimmer shades in the Snow Dream palette and then here are the swatches from the shimmer shades as well in the Hey Reindeer palette. Take a look right here at the color Candy Canes which I told you looked super lame when I swatched it earlier but look at how that peachy color shifts. You can see greens and golds in there as well. It is truly a stunning, stunning shade so I'm glad I had this footage to show you. <laughs> I got you a little closer to my face so that we can do these eye looks and I have my refer brushes ready. Remember, refer brushes is having their biggest sale they have ever had on their website right now. My link is down below in the description box if you're interested. You can get these beautiful handcrafted natural hair Japanese brushes for up to like 60 something percent off with the sets that they have available highly recommend. So definitely check the link down below. And let's do a look with the Snow Dream palette first. I think the first color I want to grab is the color Boots right here. And I'm going to stamp this color all throughout the crease of my eye, outer corner, and blending it through the crease. This is a pretty soft matte color that makes for a good transition shade. With a refer number one, I'm going to grab the shade Ornament next which is this stunning sage green color and I'm going to start by tapping it on the outer third of my eyelid just building intensity back here tap 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 it and then I'm going to blend it into my crease color some more of that shade ornament to build my outer corner once again and going back with my previous brush I'm just making sure it blends nicely into the crease color I'm trying to see how I can incorporate all of these shades that I loved most from this palette into one look so I'm going to use the color Frankenstein's next, which is that multi-colored glitter shade. And with my finger, I'm just going to lightly pat it right here on the edge of the sage. Just very lightly tapping it in place. I'm trying not to get fallout. <laughs> pat, pat, pat it there. That is an incredible glitter. Wow. Back with my sage color ornaments on my refer number one. I'm just making sure it blends nicely into that glitter shade or as nicely as possible, I should say. I have a refer number two here in the color Mary, which I'm obsessed with. Mary is such a fun light green glitter. I love it. And so I'm going to put it on the edge of the multicolor glitter and blend it forward. And with that same brush, I'm going to grab the color Hogs, which is this beautiful light champagne gold. And I'm going to add it to the inner corner and a little bit inwards into my eyelid, just tapping and swiping. I did inevitably end up with a bit of shimmer underneath my eyes, so I'll see how I can take care of that. <laughs> For the under eye, I'm going to go with a brown just to use one more shade. So with the refer number three, I'm going to grab the color Feast. And I'm going to smudge that color in between my lower lash line, all the way to my tear duct area. 
This isn't the darkest brown, but I didn't want to grab the darkest brown because it's too warm and I want to keep it cool toned. And with a refer number 13, I'm going to grab Snowflake and I'm going to blend out the brown with the color Snowflake. Actually, I don't like the way that turned out, so I'm reapplying the brown. And I'm going to blend it out with the color Boots, which is the first color I used as my transition shade for this look, because that'll look better. <laughs> I used the color Snowflake because I wanted to bring some green to the under eye, but I have a different way of doing that that I'll like better. I have the perfect eyeliner for this look. It is Patina from Glossier. This is how I'm bringing that green down. So just ignore the under eye glitters and take a look at the finished look with the Snow Dream palette right here. As you can see, very shiny, which is great for the holidays and on the soft side when it comes to mattes. I will of course show you this look with mascara and lashes in a few minutes, but first let's move on to a look with the Hey Reindeer palette over on this eye. There are so many different colors I want to use, I don't know where to start. I'm going to start with the shade Holly because I want to use this color for something, it's just so pretty. And so this is going to be my transition color for this look. This is a ref for number 15 and I'm building Holly up on the crease. All right, Holly looks beautiful up there. With the refer number one in the shade Greetings, I'm going to keep on working on the crease, on the lower part of the crease this time. And I'm connecting that color to the outer third of the eyelid. So I'm tapping it in place on the outer third of the eyelid and then I'm swiping it through the crease. And back with the refer number 15, I'm going to make sure it blends into the color Holly. Okay, that looks really nice and blended now. So let's intensify the outer corner even more. I was going to use the red shade, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to use the color Snow Wish, which is this very dark brown. On my same refer number one brush, I'm just going to further intensify the outer third of my eyelid here and blend the color into my crease. Here's how things are looking so far. I did clean up this outer edge a bit and let's go on with some glittery, shimmery sparkles. I'm dying to use the color Christmas Stocking here. So here it is on my finger. It's such a beautiful creamy gold and I'm going to put it on the edge of the brown on my eyelid. Just tap it in place there. That looks glorious. <laughs> wow, I love that so far. Also, I want to clarify that blending greetings into Holly was not the best idea. I don't love the way it looks, but I wanted to use Holly and I wanted to use greetings, so I put them together. I wouldn't recommend, though. I think Holly with the brown color would have been a better match, or Holly with the blue shades, and of course, reindeer with greeting would also be a better match. But I did it anyways. It looks okay, but it was a bit tricky to blend these two shades together, just so you know. Anyways, moving on to this purple here, which I also really want to use. I have it on the tip of my finger as well. This is the color Wreath, and I'm going to put it on the edge of the gold shimmer and inwards, just like that. Let me blend it further into the gold. I love these shimmer shades. They look incredible. And for the inner corner, I'm not sure if this is even going to match, but I can't not use the shade Candy Canes after how greatly I talked about it on the swatches. So with a refer number two, I'm going to make Candy Canes my inner corner shade. And it doesn't quite match, but I don't care. Bringing it in a third of the way through the crease to force it to match. I feel like this eye look is a little weird, but I don't hate it, okay? It looks, it looks nice. It's just an unexpected combination of colors. <laughs> I didn't have any fallout underneath this eye, which is what I'm used to from Odin's eye, which means that the shade that gave me all of the fallout on this eye is the shade Frankincense, this super multi-dimensional glitter. <sighs> a little crumbly, it definitely came down on my cheeks. So if you're going to use that shade, definitely do your eyes first, but I didn't have any issues with any of the glitter shimmer shades that I used from the Hey Reindeer palette over here. For this under eye, I'm going to go back to Snow Wish, which I loved on the outer corner. It is a fantastic smoky brown, and I'm going to smudge it around halfway in through my lower lashes with a refer number three. And then on a refer number 13, I'm going to use Holly, and I'm going to smoke that out 
back and forth down here. So take a look right there and I'm bringing down a little bit of purple with my Glossier Number 1 eyeliner in the shade Muse. Okay, I love it. I feel like that definitely made it all come together. So before any mascara or lashes, take a look right here at my look with the Hey Reindeer palette. Back with mascara and lashes on, I feel like both of these looks gained a lot from putting on mascara and lashes. So let me show you the final looks. On this side, here's my look with the Snow Dream palette. I really love the olive green shade and I love all of the glimmery, shimmery sparkles on my eyelid. I do have some things to say when I give you my final thoughts that I don't love about this palette, but just wait till I get there. Here's the final look for now, which ended up being really nice. And over on this side, the finished look with the Hey Reindeer palette, which I am obsessed with this eyeshadow look. Out of the two looks, this one is definitely my favorite. Even blending the color Holly with the color Greeting ended up working out beautifully at the end. I do like that I did that. I know I said I didn't at first, but now that the look is finished and I put mascara on and some lashes, I do really love the overall look that I created with this palette right here. Now, let me give you my final thoughts on this new collection and the Snow Dream palette specifically. I feel like in order for you to truly love, and I might be mistaken, but this is how I feel, okay? I feel like in order for you to truly love the Snow Dream palette from Odin's Eye, you have to have a light complexion. There is just way, way, way too many light shades in this palette and not enough depth. You have this red matte to give you a bit of color and you have this warm brown color right here, which is not even that dark. It's like a darkish matte brown, but it's not even that dark. And the rest of the colors are extremely light pastel-like shades that just don't add a lot of depth to the eye. The darkest color I used was this olive green shade right there. And I had to build it up quite a bit in order to get it to look as intense as it looks. So if you have a tan to deep complexion, I would not recommend this palette. I would recommend it if you like the color story and you have a fair to medium complexion because you're going to be able to get more use out of it. When it comes to the Hey Reindeer palette, things are a little bit different because this one does have some depth to it. And if I have to choose one of these two, I would 100% go with the Hey Reindeer palette. This is definitely the one that I love most. I think it has the prettiest shimmers. I'm obsessed with this color. I'm obsessed with this color. And I really love the intensity of this matte brown shade right here. I feel like it took this look to the next level. And you can combine this really beautiful neutral brown color with any of the other mattes that this palette has in it. So I feel like even if you have a dark complexion, you can definitely get use out of this palette. Keep in mind, it does still have some lighter matte shades around that you're going to have to maybe intensify a bit, but it is much more dark skin friendly than the Snow Dream palette. I kind of get it. It is snowman themed. Snowmans are white. They went with a very light color story, but I just don't want any of you to get this palette and then not be able to use it, you know? So anyways, the Hey Reindeer palette, definitely my favorite out of the two and the one that is going to be best for you if you have a darker complexion than me. I love these shimmers. I love these mattes and I honestly can't wait to create more looks with this palette. Now, if you want a very richly pigmented, colorful palette that has incredible shimmery, glittery shades, then also take a look at last year's palettes if you haven't gotten your hands on these yet because these palettes are going to work for absolutely anyone from fair to deep complexions. They are colorful, they are intense, but they also have some lighter matte shades and they have the most incredible shimmery glittery shades. Take a look right here at some of my favorite shades in the Merry Christmas palette. I swatched these shades earlier. I absolutely love the color story of this palette. Again, if you want to see the whole palette swatch, take a look at the review video I did last year, which is linked down below. But these are just some of my favorite shades from this palette. And then also take a look right here at my favorite shades from the Christmas Eve palette from last year. As you can see, this palette has a lot more intensity 
and also incredible, incredible glittery, shimmery shades. If you end up going for any of these absolutely stunning Odin's Eye palettes, don't forget to use my code PATTY10 to get 10% off of your order. It is an affiliated code, so I get a little kickback as well. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed both of the eyeshadow looks that I created today. This was definitely a lot of fun to film, and if I haven't stressed it enough yet, I love, <laughs> love, love the Hey Reindeer palette from this year. If I had to pick one, this is definitely the one that I would choose. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.